hello my dear family members if you are preparing for Accenture and if you have exam within very few days then this video is for you because today I am going to share one of the most important coding questions they have asked on 12th of November which actually repeated okay and one more important thing about the result guys please expect at least 1.5 to 2 months of delay in the result publishment okay so just expect this much i hope they will release the result within this span of time okay now the question is is really all questions are being repeated the answer is clearly uh directly no okay but indirectly yes what i mean that is you have to go through all the recent and previous year questions the questions are repeated otherwise the questions are being similar pattern and similar just they are changing the values and the names etc okay i hope you understood now let me share the recent coding questions they have asked just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any component that you want and let me know which content do you want more and guys please share this content with your friend now let me start the question Hey, you ready for the future tech? No UF is here with premium prep materials. No need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TCS and more. We'll get you ready. Open up that door. So the first question is, yeah, this one. Bitwise operation. Okay, so you are given two integers a and b. Your task is to find and return an integer representing the value of their bitwise or operation. Okay, so I hope you know what is the bitwise or operation and their input specification is this. Uh, there will be two inputs. One, uh, both are integer. Okay, and you have to return the integer representing the value of their bitwise or operation. Nothing else. Okay, so uh, like in these days. Okay, in these days. Uh, the variation of questions are very less okay so here uh, the question as you can see asked on 12th of november and uh, the uh, today is 15th november okay uh, like the what's the question requirement that is you will be given input one and input two okay and both will be integer so let's say five and three okay then your output should be the result of their bitwise or operation so for bitwise or operation you have to convert those integer into its corresponding in uh, corresponding binary value okay so what's the binary value of 5 that is 1 0 1 okay and what's the binary value of 3 that is 0 1 1 okay so you have to evaluate their bitwise or operations value that is in case of uh, let's say if there is one statement is false then full statement will be uh, sorry if there is one statement is true then full statement will be true okay so here one statement is true so it is true one statement is true so it is true one statement is true it is true okay so this is the equivalent uh, binary value of 7 okay so that's why the output for this case will be 7 okay so i hope you understood let's say let me give you one another example uh let's say uh four and five okay four and five it is given so for this what will be output so for four the equivalent binary value is 100 and for five the equivalent binary value is 101 okay so one statement is true so whole statement will be true okay and one statement is uh, like both are false so it will be false one statement is true like any of if any of them is true then it is true okay so 101 that means 5 so output is 5 in this case okay so i hope you want to do what the task is okay so like please give me what will be the output for this input sample input let's say 7 and 9 so give the answer in the comment section okay so what will be our approach to the solutions would we at first convert all the uh, decimal value to its corresponding binary value then we'll do the bitwise or operation no we'll just use uh, bitwise or operation in one line we can solve this problem okay so let me just share the solution in java and python both 
okay so just before that if you have not subscribed it yet then please subscribe it and if you want the prime materials in which we have included all the recent questions with answers all the previous year questions which are being repeated and all the uh, technical questions like uh, let's say a uh, pseudocode cloud networking and ms office and all those stuffs are there so if you want all those then please just damn me at one instant handle or just pay 79 rupees and send a screenshot of the same at one instant handle okay so let's just go to the solution part okay and watch till the end so that you can get the first coding questions as well second coding question as well okay so this is the solution so this is very simple solution so let me just share this okay so at first uh, this will be written in your case in the main method okay and you have to implement this part in another function okay i have written this inside the main function still you have to implement this part in uh, another function okay so inside this same function let's say main inside the same function um, same class you will be having one another function on that function you have to implement this syntaxes or logics okay so just uh, int result is equal to a 5 b okay then just you can return the result or you can just print the result according to the return statement okay so this way we are getting our output nothing else okay so a or b it is getting uh, uh, like it is getting reflected to the result variable okay and we are just printing that nothing else so you may ask me like what is the error what is the problem the guys are facing while exam still the questions are very easy the students are not able to match all the test cases okay so what is the problem that is let me share that so before that let me just run it and let me share let's say for 53 okay so for 53 the output should be 7 and as expected okay and for 4 and 5 the output should be 4 okay so sorry 5 the output should be 5 okay so as expected okay so let me share what's the problem the students are facing so it is all about the a compiler okay basically basically in uh like in in the compiler of essential they will give you let's say here a uh, class main okay so inside class you'll be having one function in which you have to implement your logic okay in which you have to implement your logic and you'll be having one main method where your inputs will be written your print statement will be written okay but you don't have to do anything with the main method you just have to implement the function logic okay you just have to implement your logic inside this function okay and here you will it will be written that implement your code here write your code here this way okay but the problem is they will write try catch block okay like uh, they will handle the exceptions and sometime sometime let's say the question asked you to find max to find max or mean value of between two okay two and three let's say they have given you one question to find max value or mean value between them okay and you are using you are using max inbuilt function or mean inbuilt function inside this function okay then here you will get one error and all the test cases will not be matched because they are handling this exception if if specifically they are uh, they are they are trying to get the max value and you are just implementing the inbuilt function max then they will throw an error why because if the question specifically wants you to give a return max value then you have to implement the logic to get the max value okay they are not uh, they are not uh, willing to get the answer from inbuilt function okay so here in in like in try catch block they will implement uh 
they will implement one uh, exception that will be regarding that will throw error when you will use inbuilt function but now uh, you, you you may ask you is you may ask me one question that is is this not allowed to use max or uh, like inbuilt functions yes it is allowed okay it's allowed but if the question ask you to return max value or mean value specifically then you cannot use it they will throw an error as they are handling the exception okay so let's say they have given you another question where one of the requirement is max one of the uh, steps is uh, steps to use a one in build function you can use that time okay and you have to see the exception what is this about okay so the exception uh, may be regarding in build function or regarding any other okay so just see the exception it will be easier for you okay so let me go to the python part so still if you have any issue if you have any problem then let me know in the comment section and if you want me to uh if you want me to upload various type of companies questions or any other companies questions any other subjects of Accenture or anything you want me to upload then you can just comment down your recommendation i'll try to make the videos on that and if you want let's say uh, you, you are stuck in one coding questions you are stuck in some of the aptitude questions okay so please give me those in our insta handle i will try to upload with the solutions okay so let's just go to the python solutions and this will be also same as we have seen in java just uh, implement and just uh, note one thing that is i have not used the template which is being provided by the metal browser or higher pro okay I'm just writing this inside uh, like this is just driver code okay so this is the first input second input are written here and we are just getting the result and implementing a or b then just getting uh, printing the result nothing else so in your case what there you will see that is inside class okay inside class you will have to implement the same thing okay inside class inside function you have to implement the same thing okay so just remember this and this will not be that much complicated so just be relaxed okay just try to practice inside the class and object okay so let me just run it and see the output is seven four five and three and for four and five the output should be five and i hope this will be as expected yeah five so i hope you understood guys so if you have still any issue with that then please just comment down okay so let me share the second question of uh, like the advanced coding questions so let me just share here only sorry so yeah yeah guys if you have not subscribed it yet then please subscribe it so that i'll be motivated to make more content okay okay so what's the question that is string related okay so most of the questions are from string in these days uh, and they are not asking that much difficult uh, questions in advanced part okay so what they are asking let's say string one is provided at first this is the first input okay and the second input is uh string two okay so that is let's say string one is a b c b c a b this way okay and the second string is a b okay so you have to find you have to find what you have to find if this pattern this pattern this string substring is present in this or not okay if present if present then return the count how many present okay so a b is here or not yes one and one so two show two you have to return okay so i hope you understood what the task is okay so guys please give the answer in the comment section like if you know c plus plus java or python any of them please give the answer in the comment section and like and also uh, be focused on the uh, time complexity okay 
so i hope you will give the answer in the comment section and just let me give you one more ex uh, question which was asked that is that the first question was regarding bitwise operation okay bitwise or operation what the earlier asked earlier the same question same conceptual question was asked okay so what earlier did the, the did they ask that is let's say this is first input okay five and this is second input okay so after after sorry five six seven eight okay and this is let's say 38 so after converting after converting this decimal number into its equivalent binary digit something that dot, 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 and let's say this is dot, 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 okay after converting this they are asking convert all the zeros all the zeros to two and all the one all the one two three okay then then count sorry then return the sum of integer all sum of all number or all the digits okay so what they are asking let's say this is the integer okay and they are asking at first convert this into its equivalent binary number that is 101 then convert all the 1 2 3 and all the zeros to 2 okay then return the sum of numbers sum of all the numbers digits 3 plus 2 plus 3 that is 8 so this way you have to return the output okay so i hope you want to so and i have already solved these questions and watched the playlist so that you can get the answers so if you if you want that you i will practice and i will not see the video so just give me the answer in the comment section in your convenient language okay so guys uh this is all i had to share with you today so if you like this video then please subscribe this and watch the playlist regarding any company they want and if you want me to solve more questions okay so just share this content with your friends so that i'll be motivated okay so thank you for today's session please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends